Welcome to another Relax and Paint. And it's the new year, but it's wintery in some places. And um, I wanted to share with you something that I thought was really wonderful. Um, it's been really cold in Florida, and that's hard. And I, I'm trying to talk quiet, so because that's what this is about, is peaceful and quiet. And sometimes people write me and say, ma'am, I can't hear you. So then you have to turn it up really loud. So the first thing I want you to do this morning is take a deep breath and relax and let it all drain out, all that stress, anything out there that you're worried about. So I don't want you thinking about it today, I don't, especially this morning. I want you to take a deep breath and go, you know why? I can probably do what Donna's going to do today. It's fun. I have so many of you asking to do landscapes and so many of you that are said, oh my gosh, I wish I would have found you a long time ago. And I'm so glad you're here. So it's a new year. Whenever you're watching this, it might not be this week, but it is the first week of January. And I have to tell you that having cold, brisk mornings for us, I just love to walk outside, even without a coat on, take a deep breath and fill my lungs. And if you live in really cold areas, like my girlfriend in Adak, Alaska, she is like freezing, won't walk outside if it's dark because it's dangerous with the winds. Um, I might not walk out then, <laughs> but I just want you to think about, um, there's something about cold and fresh new ice and snow that gives me a thought of how we could have a fresh new day. And so what I want to paint today and I want you to think about is we all can have a fresh new start. And if we fall down and have hard times, we're supposed to get up and just start all over again. That's what Heavenly Father wants us to do is not get up, give up, but stand up and start all over again and learn from what we just went through. I don't know what we're going to learn from the pandemic and, and from COVID. Um, there's a lot that we've learned, but be thinking about that. The, make a list of what you want to do this year. And I hope you want to learn how to paint more with me. All right. So let's go start our project with three colors. All right. I've got a Prussian blue, but you could use cobalt blue, um, a licorice and some worker white. And let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna go to my overhead camera and bring it right over here so that we can get started. Oops, there we go. All right, so I'm going to share with you on this. This is um, 11 by 14. Mm. <laughs> I don't know, it's not uh, 10 by 10, no. It's a little bit smaller. It must be a nine by 12. I thought it was 11 by 14. So I started looking at it. Okay. So I've got some flat brushes. I do a lot of flat brushes. I just get these uh, from the Dollar Tree, the mechanical, mechanical pencils, and they have a white eraser, which is really nice for our, our campuses. And then what I want you to see is that I'm going to bring, uh, this is going to be a winter stream. And I'm going to have it coming towards us and it's going to disappear. Now, I don't think you can see this, so I'm going to make it darker. But I really want you to make it light. I know that we can cover it, but I want you to see that we're going to have ice and water and some snow. Okay, so... Let me show you. This is one I did that will take a lot longer than we did today, but I want you to see that I put diamond dust on here. And then, so the sun hits it, then I have ice that's into the water. I have some reflections and we're just gonna do a little bit of background and a little bit of trees reflecting, but we're not gonna do the bridge today, okay? But this will help you see, this was a calendar, my husband said, what about this? And it had an old dead tree and all. So I didn't put that because it was a real photo, but this is what I created. So if you just look at that much, that'd be kind of nice to see. 
All right, so, so I'm going to take and in the background here, I'm going to pick up some white with my dampened three quarter inch brush and a little bit of licorice, ever so little. All right, I'm just going to go across here. And I like to do seashores because I live in Florida. I don't have snow, but I've been blessed to be able to travel to a lot of areas in, in my life, in different areas of the U.S. And I have been in very cold areas <laughs> and not so cold areas. Um, and, and one stroke has taken me all over the world. So it's been really nice. Now see how I'm just working in I just keep picking up. Can you see me pick up over here? I just keep picking up the color. And this is just some background for the sky. All right. Now I am going to come along here. Let's leave it like this. Okay. I am going to come along here with a little bit of a lot of white and a teeny bit of blue. All right. I didn't wash the brush, you notice. And I'm going to come right around here and I'm leaving that white on there. You see, oops, how did I get yellow? I don't think I clean my brush so well after my first use. Okay, so I'm going to come right in here. Now, when you are seeing water, you're going to go straight this way. You don't follow. Okay. You know, taking a deep breath, having a little cup of hot chocolate or a hot tea, or you're sitting there and just thinking, oh, so far that doesn't look too bad, does it, guys? Does it look like something you could might do? So make sure you go straight across all the way in your painting. All right. So it's this way, not following the I used to think you followed the creek. All right. So I'm going to come look this way, but now I want to smooth it. Okay. So I had an idea where I was going, right? And then I'm going to come across here. And it's darker here. And then as we go back here, it got really light. All right. I can even put a little bit more dark in here. I haven't used any medium yet. Thank you for being on with me this morning. And I hope that you think, oh, I want to come home and try that. There's all kinds. This is a canvas, a wrap canvas, but you can you can do it literally on a piece of cardboard. I've got a friend that would paint on pizza boxes, just have something to paint and try what she wanted to try. And then she said, oh, I put all that work. I don't want to throw away the pizza box. And literally, when I went to her house, it's the first time I ever saw her. She had pizza boxes in her dining room, uh, uh, stuck with a um, pen, street pen, into her wall. <laughs> and she just had them up there to inspire her. But it made her feel good. Oh, I did that. OK, so I put a few little spots of blue here and there. Now. <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to come back here and have some background. So there's my water. I've got it in place. I'm going to come in here with a little bit of blue. And here's a horizon. So if I have this horizon right here, that's way in the background. So this is what I want you to think about. So it's way back there. So I've still got my three quarter. Now I can do something that's kind of fun. I could take this rake brush. See, it's got half bristles. They're cut right there. So what I want to do is I want to pick up some white and some blue. And now medium. So see, I'm going to work this in there. And if it's way back here, I can have some tall, and just remember they're like sticks. They're 
I can rake some up. You call this a feather brush or a rake brush, and this comes in my 13 piece brush set. OneStroke.com for any of your painting supplies that you watch me use. You can even get tracing paper or carbon paper or all the fun tools I show you. See that? Now that gives you the illusion that it's way back there. But when it's way back, you wouldn't see detail. You wouldn't see detail of the trees. You would just see, oh, there's, see, they're back there. They're misty, right? All right, so then I can even take some of this gray. So I just take the same brush and hit along there, and it's kind of a gray and white again. Okay? So that wasn't too hard using that rake brush, see? Okay, so let's pick up some more white and more blue. All right, so now I'm going to do a little bit more detail. Now I'm pulling down. So one way to get these straight is come with a trunk. And here's another trunk. I'm just kind of making this up as I go. So, um, and I actually will go ahead and put a little bit of licorice in it. And I can do another branch here. And why don't we do this tree over here? And because it's closer to us, right? So that's closer to us. Watch this. Because it's closer to us, we would make it bigger and go higher. And it would disappear off the top. Can you see that? Blend that in. And I'm going to come across, but also you'll see that we're going to put that shadow and the water. So this tree is right here is going to be there, but I'm going to do another tree that will look like this. And I always thought these were dead trees. <laughs> But they're actually those trees, right? With ice or I want them because they lost all their leaves, right? Okay. Now, one thing I do want to do is I'm going to come in the water and on the edge of this, and I'm going to take and let it go at an angle across here. So that's the reflection in the water. See that? Oh, no, 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 you didn't see it, sorry. Let me come up a little bit more. So this is the reflection in the water. And I am gonna go over that a little bit more, but we can have this, this is a bigger tree. It's gonna go like this one and we get it in there. All right, and so I'm just, I, I still want it kind of icy. So I'm going to go just like this. I'm just doing a real simple landscape today and hopefully inspire you to try it and find any kind of picture that looks like it has trees and realize that we're going to have trees coming this way. Watch this. You can pull it up the snow on it. Watch, I'm pulling it up on the chisel. I want you to look at that really good. So I pick up a lot of white. And so this has got ice and snow kind of on it. All right. And then it's going to show in here. And I'm going to put a wash over this so it's going to look good. But I can have snow in here with a little bit of snow sitting on these branches. And if you just take this and tap it, it gives you texture, but it looks like ice is sitting on there. 
You can also do icicles or more snow sitting on here. So see, that's not very difficult. It's kind of fun. You're just tapping it. Just little bits of snow. Okay. I can come back in here, look, and bring some brown back in there. All right, so this one, we do a little bit of this coming, but we want it out of focus. We don't want to see that, okay? I'm sorry, I keep forgetting you can't see that. Okay, so let's put a little bit of snow on these branches. Just by tapping this little rake brush along here. All right, so I might leave that there and but also it's going to have a little bit of shading across here. We wouldn't see much of it, just a little bit of illusion. OK. And I can bring a little bit of white down in here. You could use a liner, but this works, too. Do you see that? All right. So. Now, what's going to happen, I really need this to dry. So I'm going to start working on the snow area. So a couple of things that will happen. I'm going to take a deep breath and relax as I'm doing this and realize that if I bring a lot of snow in here, I'm going to be careful because I want the tree to still, the snow to show on the tree. I can bring some snow up on the trees a little bit. All in here, but I can also come in here and add some dark areas. All right, so right along here, out into the creek, along there. Right along here. And then we can put a little bit, this blue gets really nice with the, with the white. All right, so I just put some areas where the snow is going to be underneath over it. Okay, so now what's going to happen? See how that starts looking like a bank along there? So I'm going to come right in here with, this is a 10 flat, and I'm going to have this bank all along here, little bits, all the way back there, all right, and it disappears out there, and so I can come in here with a little bit more white and let a stronger white hit there. Do you see that? Because of the gray, the white, the snow area there, see how it stands out because of the gray in the background? I know I'm taking a little bit longer today, but I just thought this would be fun. So I'm gonna put some white right on top of this little area here. A little bit more white in here. And we have a little bit more blue along in here. Okay. So a little bit more in here. That tree is going to be right at the edge. All right, and then right along in here. So what I'm going to do in here is I'll show you with that rake brush in just a minute. 
All right, so I'm going to bring this out. So I'm going to put a little bit of medium with this brush and bring this out from the bank there. Okay. Okay, so there we go. See that? We streak it across here. And I'm going to take some water, but we really need medium. Medium and a little bit of white after this has dried a little bit. And then this is what we're going to do. We're going to put some white streaks so you can see the water's flowing. But you really have to work that medium into the white. See, so that's just the ice and the glazing on the ice or on the top of the water. Now see, whatever you put underneath as a shadow, this is just going to come right along here. See, that shows the water's getting a little busy there. Now you just drag this brush across and see how it makes a pretty reflection. All right. So now look what start. see what's starting to happen. Isn't that kind of fun? All right, so now what I did was I took a bigger brush and I'm going to get a little bit more white. And I will show you that this ice and snow, first thing I did was I came along here and I'm just putting heavy white on one corner. Okay. All right, so this does have a little bit of blue. See, I worked the blue in and then I picked up the white because what's going to happen is this had ice chunks. And I have some white in here. So that had little bits of blue in here. So that looks like the ice is kind of frozen. But the blue, when I saw this picture, it was really nice because the blue right in here gave it, the, you could tell it's like, the, you could see through and it started icing up on the creek there. All right. So then there was big piles and mounds of snow. So I just came right in here. and added heavier white. And that's where I put all that diamond dust. Or you can put glitter. All right, so you can definitely see the difference in the two. Here we go. And wasn't that kind of fun? And then you can just sprinkle while this is wet. Here, I've got diamond dust right here. So we sell this diamond dust. And once you do, you can use the same container for a long time. I just sprinkled this in the wet. And then when it's all dry, it stays. And it doesn't, oops, I just dumped a whole bunch. Okay, but I can go just like that and see it leaves. Isn't that wonderful? And was that fun? You have the stormy snow areas, you have the water, you can see the reflection. And then let me show you, this was the one I originally did. I think my trees look better here. All right, and this is cobalt and licorice and white. All right, and this is Prussian blue and licorice and white. There we go. Okay, so you all have fun. I hope you paint and share that on 
the official um, Donna Dewberry's official one stroke group come join us. We have specials two times a week usually, and we have a convention going on this week, so you'll see surprising footage from our our one stroke painting convention right here in Florida. Thank you so much, and put it in God's hands. It'll be great this year. We know it is, right? So you're in my prayers. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you.